Hi guys, what we're gonna do in this video is talk about independent proportions. So on this page, you'll click mean differences, come down here to independent proportions. And so all this particular one does is helps us calculate the difference between two proportions. So we would enter the proportion, be sure the score is not over one, and so not percent. So let's say we're gonna compare 25% to maybe 35%. Let's see if those two are different. And by independent proportions, what we mean is that they're two totally different groups of people and not the same group of people. So correspondingly, sample size one, let's just make it 100 to make it easy. Sample size two is 100. Remember, alpha is our type one error rate, so we're going to put that at 0 0.05. When you hit calculate, it's going to give you a definition for the type of effect size you're seeing. Since this is a D, it's going to tell you that it's interpreted as the standardized difference between two mean scores. Here, these are proportions, but same idea. It'll give you the effect size. So the effect size here is 1.56, so fairly large, and it gives me a confidence interval on that effect size. The interpretation is that the effect size does not include zero, so this is probably different from zero, and then actually calculates the Z difference between these proportions. And so these are a little odd because normally effect sizes are smaller, absolute value-wise, than Z, but the way that these two things are calculated is a little different than your sort of traditional effect sizes. So let's look at that when we're on the code page. D is calculated as the difference between Z's, the individual Z of these proportions. Um, and so that's proportion over standard error for that proportion. And so these are little Z scores for the proportions. And you subtract the two Z scores. However, the formula for Z here, small typo, is the proportions subtracted divided by the standard error. So the reason that you get rather the same values or sometimes uh, wildly different values is that they're kind of calculated um, in different ways. This one is the subtraction of the z's and this one is a subtraction of the scores divided by standard error, which is a more traditional test statistic formula. If you want to do this in R, we give you the code below. So you would use dprop. And then this help page here is for the video you're watching now. And so independent proportions are pretty easy. Just main rule is make sure you enter these as proportions and not as percentages.